All right, guys and girls of YouTube, and welcome to another UK Dark Fox unboxing. Today, we're going to be discussing the Power A wired controller for the Xbox and PC, and let you know what my thoughts and feelings are on this little bad boy. As always, if you like what I do, comment, like, and subscribe, and send off in the comments about any future unboxing you'd like to see me do. And with that out the way, let's roll the intro and let's get into the action. So here we have it. It's the Power A wired controller. Um, it's exclusively designed for the Xbox. It won't work on your PlayStation. Full disclaimer, but I mean, <laughs> most people will know that information from the get-go as it does clearly state Xbox on the box. It is a wired controller. You get a 10-foot cable. It does support headset, so it is compatible with your Xbox Live chat and stuff like that. And to me, it looks exactly like the controller that you would just get with an Xbox Series S or X. To me, I can't tell any difference. But then again, I am old. Um, that is out what they were. So we're just going to have a little bit of a look around the packaging here. So, as you can see, it's a nice bit of a packaging there. It's a pretty standard affair, what you get most controllers in, I think. It's got a nice little bit of artwork on the side there of the controller itself. So we've got the back of the box. I don't know how legible that's going to be. It's got wired controller for Xbox in black. Share button for in-game screen captures and video clips. It's got the dual rumble motors, which are pretty standard these days. No batteries required, which is always a bonus. And super ergonomic, which it will be. It's basically a mimic of the original, and it's supported by Xbox. I mean, Xbox only certified products that are pretty much meet their standards, and their standards are quite high. It also comes with a two-year two limited warranty. Uh, you've got to go to PowerA.com support, I think, to enable that. And yeah, it's just a pretty standard affair, really. Now, the reason why I've purchased this and why I'm doing this video review today, I actually went out and I wanted to buy an official Xbox controller. I'm currently playing a couple of games on PC that aren't very intuitive on the mouse and keyboard. You know, these are the struggles of the PC gamer as I've moved away from the consoles now. And I'm uh, pretty firmly set on the PC. I'm a little bit older these days and I just don't see the point in owning a console. So the issue I've had is basically you can't get hold of an Xbox controller. And places that you can buy them from, they literally double the retail. So I believe the RRP on the standard wireless Xbox Series S or X in white or black controller in the UK is £55.00. Or 54.99 they're currently going for around a hundred pounds on amazon and around a hundred pounds in most retail stores which I, to me i just thought that was a little bit much um so i've opted for this and it's wired and you know overall it had very good reviews now the reason why microsoft is struggling to actually get the controllers out is allegedly from what i've uh, researched is some of the components inherent inside the controller are actually from russia and the Ukraine sort of area. As you know, there's been a lot of political and uh, a lot of upheaval, and uh, I hope things get sorted out pretty soon. But yeah, there's been a lot of issues over there, so I don't see the controllers coming into stock anytime soon. So what I'm gonna do is, we're just gonna get this bad boy open now, which is why I presume you're here today. So I'll just carefully, carefully cut these tags. Now, bear in mind, I have a really bad history with knives. <laughs> I often cut myself. I've got many scars on my fingers from knives. So, I absolutely try and be as careful as humanly possible. As you can see, it's a very sharp knife there. It's actually gone into the box. So, let's have a look. Okay. Just pop this knife away now. So, let's actually have a look and see what's inside. It's a pretty standard affair. Nothing too classy. Got a bit of a plastic bit at the top. And basically, the controller and a few other bits and bats. Let's have a look. 
to part the stuff here. So the uh, the, the package in itself is not too too uh, fancy. There's nothing real premium here that stands out that's going to make you go ooh. But then again, this controller only cost me twenty seven ninety nine. But I have to say, initial impressions, it's looking like it's the part. So you've got your standard uh, sort of two-year limited warranty there. Anti-friction rings, a few other bits. Detachable cable. It's just your usual bump. One thing I will say straight off the bat. Okay, we'll get to the cable in a moment. To first glance, I don't think you'd be able to tell the difference between this and official controller. Now, one thing I will say is, one, it is very comfortable. It's very comfortable, and there's no creak, no flex. The buttons feel fantastic. One thing I will say, and I don't know if you can see this, the grip on the sticks has got like sort of a a real great texture that makes the grip on the sticks even holding the edges as you can see beautifully it's a beautiful finish on the sticks now i don't know if that's on the official controllers but that is something that sony should really get onto because that is really immense for grip like next level shoulder buttons pretty standard nothing too special quite easy to press right on the outskirts right on the inskirts yeah it's a solid controller the d-pad it's a little bit mushy but nothing nothing to complain about really i mean overall i'm pretty impressed i mean obviously we're gonna get some uh play testing with this later on today and I may do a follow-up video I may do a follow-up video but it's got the standard sure sort of I don't know what these buttons are I think this one's sure I just call them start and select I'm old school I'm pretty I think this lights up as well but I don't think it lights up like the original I think it just, it just literally white and black in fact i'm not even certain if this does light up that's something that will have to be investigated now with it you also get this detachable cable which comes with a nice handy cable tie so we're just gonna look at this now it is removable so that's great so if you ever want to store it again you can pop that in the box and reuse it or reuse it on something else so that's pretty handy sadly it's a non-braided cable it's just your standard affair. It's not a cheap cable by any means. It's uh, it's quite thick and durable. It looks like a tech of beating. And you've got the nice Power Air logo on the USB. Sadly, no gold-plated contacts. No braided cable. It's not a deal breaker. But, you know, these are things you'd expect in a more premium product. Now, one thing I will say that's great about these new power air controllers the old ones apparently had some sort of custom fit here for the cable so you couldn't put any generic cable in and it's recessed which i find to be really nice so you're not going to be getting in the way of that cable so it's just a simple fact i mean it would have been nice to see type c but you can't have it all at 27.99 there you have it the power eight officially certified should we say or designed for xbox controller now it does state this will work on all xboxes i can't verify that as i don't have an xbox here to hand but i'm going to give it a test on the pc nonetheless but yeah initial impressions very very impressed so if you are struggling to get yourself an Xbox official controller, this definitely could be an option. I really don't see why you'd want to pay £55 when you can get one of these 
at twenty seven ninety nine. I've seen them as low as nineteen ninety nine, and the average price is twenty four ninety nine. So there you have it, guys. The Power A Xbox Wired Controller. If you enjoyed today's content, consider subscribing to the channel as it helps us to grow. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.